One of the main things that people didn't like about Doom Eternal The Ancient Gods Part 1, it's that we weren't able to use the almighty Crucible Blade. The Crucible is arguably one of the strongest weapons that Doom Slayer has in terms of lore and gameplay mechanics. In gameplay, it can one-shot pretty much every single demon from the sandbox, for the exception of the Marauder. Demons like the Tyrant, Doom Hunter, Archfile, and Baron of Hell die instantly with one slash of the Crucible. In terms of lore, the Slayer's Crucible is one of the strongest weapons in the universe, as it can seal Elder Titan gods from ever moving again. In the lore of Doom Eternal, the Doom Slayer first used his Crucible Blade after being transformed into a god. He used his Crucible Blade to seal the Dreadnoughts, a titan that was destroying the holy city of Taras the Bad. In the base game of Doom Eternal, we actually go back to that same titan in Taras the Bad to retrieve our crucible hilt and power it again with pure argent energy. It is said that only a true king of the sentinel kingdom can wield a crucible and spew fire from its tip. That's what gave the doomslayer his rank. Apart from being an outright god, he had what was necessary to become a warrior king, and the way he wielded his crucible said it all. There are two reasons why we didn't get the chance to use the crucible on Ancient Gods Part 1. Number one being that its software is just a huge troll and wanted to see us suffer, and two being that in terms of lore and story, it wouldn't make sense for the Doomslayer to have his crucible blade at that time. And so, what happened? to the Slayer's Crucible? Is it destroyed? Is it lost? That's what we're going to find out in today's video. If you like Doom and want to know everything about the franchise, consider subscribing, click the bell to get all future videos, and leave a huge like right now. Thanks for the support and enjoy the video, my friends. So, what happened to the Crucible? Where is it right now? And why doesn't the Doomslay use it in this campaign expansion? Well, the Crucible Hilt, that being the body of the Crucible Blade, is right there with the Slayer. He just cannot see it right now because of gameplay mechanics. And you might be wondering, why cannot we use it? Is it because its software wants us to have a really bad time playing this campaign expansion? Or is there a reason why the Doomslayer cannot use it? Well, he has the Crucible Hilt with him, but he cannot use it. The ending for the campaign of Doom Eternal had the Doomslayer jumping into the brain head of the Icon of Sin and impaling him with the Crucible Blade. By doing so, the Doomslayer sealed the Icon of Sin right then and there. But as you can see closely, the Doomslayer, just like he did back in Terra's the Bad, broke the crucible and separated the hilt from the blade and left the argent energy concentrated blade inside of the titan. That's what sails the titans away, a crucible blade of pure argent energy being impaled on their body. We do not know how much time passes in between the Doom Eternal ending and the beginning of the Ancient Gods Part 1, but I would assume, because of everything that is still happening on the Earth and Erdak, that moments after sealing the Icon of Sin, the Doomslayer went to the Ark Carrier immediately and began his campaign to save the Earth for good. So that's it, the Slayer has the Crucible, but he cannot use it. And here's where we drift off to Ancient Gods Part 2. With the resurrection of the Dark Lord and him being an exact physical copy of the Doomslayer, the reins have been broken, and a duel of the fates is approaching violently. It was revealed that the Dark Lord had a crucible of his own, that being the demonic crucible that we acquired all the way back in Doom 2016. It has not been stated, but the Dark Lord having a crucible and armor that resembles in some ways the Sentinel armor makes me believe that Argent Denner and the Night Sentinels are somewhat like what Jakad used to be millions of years ago, before it fell to corruption, chaos, and eventually became hell. The dimension of Jakad was created by the Father, and the Father created the dimension to be the greatest of them all, even greater than Erdak. Of course, the Father failed, and Jakad was nothing more than a failed experiment. 
Jets, Arjun Denner and the Night Sentinels have a history of being a greatly advanced civilization and race. The Argenta, or the people of Arjun Denner, are stronger than the humans and their technological advancements are greater as well. It gives me the impression that in one way or the other, the Argenta and the Night Sentinels are what the people of Jakar were meant to be, or what they used to be in the past. With the resurrection of the Dark Lord and the Doomslayer having his crucible in the Fortress of Doom, it's more than likely that the story will shift in two directions. Either the Dark Lord escapes from the Doomslayer and invades the Fortress of Doom to retrieve his Crucible Blade, or instead, the Doomslayer goes back to the Fortress of Doom and uses a demonic Crucible for himself to kill the Dark Lord for good. I, for one, think that the latter is not going to happen. I think that the Dark Lord will retrieve his Crucible Blade from the Fortress of Doom and that will force us, the Doomslayer, to go back to Origin Denner, to the city of Terrence Nabed, open the Slayer Vault again and power our Crucible Blade yet again with the pull of Origin energy that it has on the Vault. And with that being done, a literal duel of the fates will happen between the Doomslayer and the Dark Lord both of them clashing swords at the peak of Mount Doom. Huge theory, I know, but I really think that's what's going to happen in Ancient Gods Part 2. There are a ton of locations on Argent Denner that we haven't explored yet, so most likely we will explore those locations on Ancient Gods Part 2. Another thing that can happen is that the Dark Lord retrieves his Crucible, but we don't giving us a handicap against the Dark Lord, and the boss fight that we're going to have against him is going to be way harder. But anyways, that's all I had to say for today's video. Now let's drift off to a video I uploaded yesterday. Just today I uploaded a video, a discussion video on who is going to be the last boss and what's going to be the ending for Ancient Gods Part 2. Of course, me being me and being incredibly stupid, I did this title, which in my opinion and honestly from the bottom of my heart, I didn't think it was clickbaity at all. I mean, I'm just talking about the last boss and and the ending on a discussion theory matter, you know? But that title combined with this thumbnail, it was like, you know, the seeds of clickbait content, you know? And I asked on Twitter for feedback if this title was clickbaity at all, and also in the comment section of that video, and you guys let me know, very harshly, and I agree, that it was indeed clickbait, so I'm not going to do that ever again. Uh, at least that's what I want to believe. I didn't want to clickbait that video. It's just that in this day and age of YouTube, you need to have really catchy titles and really catchy thumbnails to attract people to your videos. That's why when I do videos like, for example, my super shotgun video, instead of typing like, for example, in my super shotgun video, instead of typing something like why the super shotgun was lost and found on the UAC cultist facility, instead of doing that, I did the tragedy of the super shotgun because that title is more catchy it is not clickbaity but it's more catchy for viewers like, like the tragedy of the super shotgun oh my god what happened and it's just a lore video of the super shotgun you know you need to be really smart with your titles because all of those things are keywords for youtube certain words are going to be brought down by the youtube algorithm that's why i only typed Ancient Gods Part 2, Last Boss and Ending, because those keywords have a great potential of being pushed in the algorithm and to recommend sections, you know? Okay, but it was a mistake from my part and I shouldn't make excuses, so I apologize guys and I'm not going to do it ever again. It's okay, but since that was all the time I had for today's video, please let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Leave a like if you did and a dislike if you disliked it. It is completely fine. Thanks to all of my patrons that made this video possible and links to all of my social accounts will be down below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, on Instagram and on Twitch. And also, I might be doing a live stream later today, so be sure to follow me on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash midnightspot and all the links you need are down below. 
But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome Thursday. Play video games, stay safe, have good food, you just, just have fun. It's life, have fun. Anyways, thanks for watching. Adios, bye.